Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today I have a very interesting product that I want to review here. And this is the MTN WakaNet 5G router, right? So this is a new product that I just got from the MTN service center. And I wanted an internet connection to complement on my home fiber network, right? So I got this primarily because sometimes, you know, when we have power cards and umeme goes off and so forth, you need a backup uh, internet option. And this is why I actually went for this. So as I speak right now, there is no power. And so I'm falling back to this option here for my internet needs right so this device here is a 5g router and as you can see here you have the power led indicator you have the wi-fi indicator here then you have 4g and 5g right and then a signal strength indicator here right so this router here is actually powered by a power bank and that is why i'm able to use it right now connected right down here okay so it can be powered directly to a power supply from your socket but when you have power issues you can actually power it off a power bank so this makes it really ideal as a secondary option for people that have uh, home fiber and when you know power goes off then you can actually run it using the um power bank right yeah so the power bank goes for about 30 minutes to one hour according to my tests uh, and i think that is good enough right and also for people who are traveling and uh, you need internet like on the car or on the bus or whatever uh, or if you go off grid for example and you still need an internet connection then this is also a very good option right here so this device here is powered by a sim card so when you open this compartment actually should be able to uh, view a sim card right so when you purchase it you have to purchase and register for a new sim card so you can see a sim card there and a usb-c slot right there okay yes so when you go to purchase this device here you have to go with your original national id and one thirty thousand uganda shillings as you can see here so the one thirty thousand shillings comes with a base model of 10 mbps unlimited and that gives you data of up to 500 gb per month right and i think that is uh, generous enough so let's do a very quick speed test i already did a speed test here and actually i got the 10 mbps uh, the server is uh, hosted in frankfurt that is germany right so let's do a very quick speed test and see what we get so we start with a pink test which uh, shows us the latency and then now the speed test here, right? So you can see we are hitting roughly 10, 11, 10, 11 Mbps, which as advertised, uh, yeah, that is what actually MTN advertised for this package. So if you want to go higher, maybe 20 Mbps, then you'll have to pay a little bit more, that's 195. If you want 40 Mbps, you'll have to get two nine, you'll have to pay 295 and so forth, right? yeah so i think that is uh decent enough the speeds are pretty consistent according to my tests however you have to you know put this router here in uh, a very good spot somewhere that you can easily get uh good signal strength somewhere that is not obstructed you don't want to put this under the garage or under chairs and furniture or somewhere hidden in the corner of your room right you want to put it probably close to the window or to the door or something where you actually can have those uh, bars light up so the bars are lighting blue here which means that the signal strength is good enough so the better the signal strength the better the uh, speeds that you will get here right. you can even uh, do fast.com here and see what happens yeah 
yeah so pretty much it goes down to 10 mbps which is typically what i paid for for this package here right so respective can even uh, we can also try uh, uh, speedtest.net and see what we get right so sometimes the speeds fluctuate throughout the day of course as expected but for the most part according to my trials here in chira it's pretty much the same yeah so let's 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 do a, a test here from speed speed test and see okay so this uh, this is from mtm to simba simba firebytes within the country i expect really good speeds so that's that's 10 mbps which is which is good it is good and the upload is also about the same so if if uh, this these speeds are really good for uh, watching um, you know hd video on um, youtube you can even watch uh, a bit of 4k uh, video on youtube with these speeds so let's change the uh, i want to change the server the destination server and uh, and see uh give it boston let's go off and see how the speeds fare if uh, the testing server is abroad okay so this is 9.5 and then 9.99 so which is still really good yeah it's within the range that I actually paid for i paid for the 10 10 mbps package at 130k yeah so this is uh almost true unlimited in the sense that you get speeds of up to 10 mbps for up to 600 gb after that mtn is going to tank your speeds to i think 3 mbps until the end of the month yes so that is something that you need to know of so it's not exactly true unlimited in that sense but it is good enough it's better than where we were a few years ago right so this device actually is called i just googled it up i got its specs it's the zltx 100 pro right if you want to go a little bit deeper into the specifications of this particular device right from the vendor you have a wired ethernet it comes with wired ethernet that means that you can uh, easily connect this to a laptop via wired ethernet or you can also connect it to a switch and uh, then connect multiple devices uh, through it so you can connect uh, to a switch via an rj45 network port right there and then another port that we have here is the uh, telephone port i barely use it you have usb-c this is mostly used for debugging the device which i showed you inside the sim card here and then uh, what else do we have yes we have the four signal led indicators that gives you the status of uh, the network and as i explained earlier right you have blue which means that uh, it's registered to the network the respective networks and uh, it will light off if it is off then the wi-fi is off right or the 4g signal is off right there so uh these are the specs of uh, this device it's a typical router actually if you logged into the the interface which i actually did i tried to play around and see exactly what it has but it's like a typical typical router that you would expect it has dhcp which means that devices automatically get uh, their ip addresses right have uh, uh, the 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz band these are specs for the nads right so uh, if you're in a fairly congested environment then you want to use this band here but if you want uh, a faster wi-fi in a less congested environment then you want to go with a 5g um, band right it supports both so it's dual band and actually even more importantly it supports wi-fi 6 because i see ac and ax so ax is wi-fi 6 which is uh, fairly one of the latest uh, wi-fi uh, standards so this device is actually really really decent in that sense right yes so come down here you can uh, choose to set up two ssids right for the 
two different bands, the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band. But for normal users, you don't really need to tamper with any of these uh, settings, right? So you can see this is MTN, 2.4 gigahertz. So when I come to my laptop here, right, I should be able to see two uh, bands, the 5 gigahertz band and the 2.4 gigahertz band. So then uh, you have uh, SMS actually here. So uh, messages from MTN you can always find them in the inbox. Now the bummer here is that you actually don't have USSD interface here. So I can't like reload bundles off this interface. I have to use my phone, dial the MTN uh, Momo code and then uh, renew, right? Yeah, so maybe that's something MTN should do a bit uh, later. You have port forwarding and filtering and uh, IP map binding. This is for gigs essentially. And then of course you can also have the diagnostics here. You can ping, do a you know basic troubleshooting, or remotely reboot your device. Uh, yeah, so I bet normal people uh, are not really going to bother with the settings of uh, this device here from the web interface. But for the nerds, yes, you're really covered if you choose to go down that route. So. If you want to go and get this device, walk into any MTN service center in town in Kampala. I got this from uh, Metroplex Nalia. Uh, go with your national ID, the original one, and 130K UGX, right? And you'll be able to come back with uh, a very fast 5G uh, internet router, which is kinda unlimited very very good speed so i hope you liked this review uh, if you did go ahead and click the like button subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon if you're interested in tech content and tech videos otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one